I'm trying to get ours. Hey everybody. How are you doing? Hey, Brandy. Brandy. Hey, how are you? Kathy, nice to see you. I'm Gail. Hey Gail, how are you? And they treat teachers like professionals. And that is to teach the task. Let's follow the evidence. Let's look at what works. She truly knows the importance of what we need to do in order to make education, public education, respected once again across the United States. And those changes that are important that she would say are good for kids and fair to teachers. All of the work that all of you have been doing for the past several weeks, not only to get Bennett elected in the primary, but also to hold key positions in both the House and the Senate and also the governor's seat. Because we know without the work that you've done over the last several weeks, we wouldn't be able to be that type of change agent. So without further ado, I'd like to introduce our national president, Randy Wendell. Thank you, Brenda. So, we've made over 25,000 calls. We've knocked on over 10,000 doors. Marianne, Sheila, Dominic, and Danielle, please stand up. Take a bow. Please talk. So this election is about choices. Do we go forward? with a way that helps all people, particularly those of us that need the collective action to be helped, whether it's poor kids, or whether it's teachers who are trying to do their job, or do we go backwards? That's the choice. And that's what we need you to do for the next two days. That's what we need in terms of a Higginlooper election, in terms of a Bennett election. That's the choice. And I don't know of any better group to do it than a group of AFT members. Thank you very, very much. Thank you. Go get them! Who are we? AFT! Who are we? AFT! Who are we? AFT! Let's move out. <laughs> I love that. helped us change and shape Colorado here. She knows the importance of the work that you've done over the past several weeks and months, and that's why I'm excited to have her here two days before election to help us get out the vote. Randy Weingarten. You, my friends, worker to worker, person to person, can convince people of what's real in a period of time when people see all of these ads fueled by corporate interests who want to go back to a situation where we take away pensions, we take away health benefits, we take away access to good jobs. These are tough times, but we need people in office who will work with us, not go against us. That's why we need you today. Every call matters, every door knock matters. We need Bennett back in the Senate. And we really need you, because the only way this gets done is member to member, peer to peer. And not just with our own members, but now because it's so tight, their families and their friends. Everybody we can get to in the next two days. And that's why I'm honored to be with all of you walking that walk today. Go Colorado. Go Colorado AFL Serie. Nice to, meet you. nice to see you. We're just out here on the doors to see if you uh, have voted yet. You guys keep up the good work. Yeah, so we're excited. Um, our ballots are, we've got our we've got our ballots already cast. I just gotta walk them into this uh, city and county building on Monday. 
Fantastic. Okay, great. Fantastic. Yeah. So all six of them, correct? Right, all six of them. So we're, we're good. I'm locked in. Great, right. so great. Thank you, sir. Vote. And I make really sure they vote. Great. If, they, if they don't vote, they can't. They don't have a. They don't have a. They can't. Uh, you don't express, feed them. They can't express an opinion at the table. Right. <laughs> That's all there is to it. Thank you. Thank you. You have a great Thank Sunday you. afternoon. Right. Bye bye. Go Broncos. Yeah, go Broncos. <laughs> Six votes, all turned in on Tuesday. Ready are good. I hope that you will consider uh, voting for John Hickenlooper for governor when you make your decision. You're welcome. State employees uh, for voice on the job. Are you planning on voting for uh, for Hickenlooper, Dan Mays, or Tancredo for governor, Erica? Because there are only a few short days, and and you know the election is important, and uh, and that's what state employees have done. You know they sifted through all the ads, they've really looked at it, and they've decided. You know what? When, when you really look at the facts, John Hickenlooper is going to be the best choice for, for state employees for governor. I just want to thank your officers, and I want to thank the super duper um, volunteers that have done like so many walks and talks. Thank you very much. That's the difference between whether we win or lose. Even as we go through all these calls where people are unsure or they don't want to tell us that they're voting for the other guys and things like that. This is the tough times. But as frustrating as it is, is as important as it is. And whether we have people in government who actually will listen to us, who actually will understand that what we go through every single day is really important. So really, thank you very much for everything. Thank you. Break's over, back on the phone. <laughs> 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 For kids that are going to school all across our state, 850,000 of them, who already think we've made a promise to them, that the zip code they're born into is not going to determine the quality of the education they get. That's why you're here. So we are all in it together. We're all connected and have some responsibility to help each other when we go through a difficult time like this. And that's something the other side doesn't get. There's a reason why GM never does an attack ad against Ford or Toyota, right? It's because long term, it destroys the, 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 the community that makes life possible, right? That when you're doing an attack ad, you're, you're, you're not just tearing down the person you're attacking or the product, but you're diminishing all the people that believe in that product or that person, right? So that after the election, can't get everyone back together again, and we we don't have that luxury anymore. Hi. 